Hello everyone, this is Nice Guy, and welcome to my Let's Play of Pokemon Red version. Generation 1 in Red and Blue is where it all began for the Pokemon franchise. In 1996 for Japan and 98 for the States. It grew into the one of the highest grossing franchises with a multi-generational generational fan base. Oh my god. Starting the Let's Play and I can't talk. I'm recording this off of my new 3DS XL that I sent to Loopy, who offers a capture mod service for this system, and I decided Pokemon Red is going to be the first series I'm going to record. All of that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start a new game. And look who it is. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me a Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? The canon name is Red, but I always use my first name. It's going to be Jason. Oh, I totally forgot about the lowercase option that will probably be better for me since I'm playing on the 3DS, which has compatibility with Pokemon Bank. So, do I press start? Oh, yes, I do. Right, so your name is Jason. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Yeah, he also has a canon nickname. His canon nickname is Blue, but Gary is from the anime. We can't choose it to name our rival, but I'm gonna play old school and choose Blue. We can choose our names up to seven characters in each generation. Like I said, is a ca canon character name for the Gen 1 games. The pr main protagonist is Red. That's right, I remember. His name is Blue. Jason, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And here we go. We are in the actual game. What system do we have in our bedroom? Jason is playing the Sinez. Okay. It's time to go. That was my very first console, personally. I want to believe we go to the PC. This is the item storage. We can withdraw a singular potion. Withdraw a potion. There's nothing else to do here. Oh, and if we press start, we can set the tech speed as fast. And if you want the game to go by a little bit faster, you can turn off battle animation, but I like it on on. Oh, and battle style. If you're playing on shift, when you defeat a Pokemon, you have the option to switch out to whatever they're gonna send out. Set, you are forced to stay in, just like multi-link battles, so. It's the closest thing to a hard mode, so I like playing on set. And if we press our name, this is our trainer card. It'll show us how much money we have, how much time we've been playing, and how many gym badges we've collected so far. We have zero. And it gets a little portrait, gives a little portrait to all the gym leaders. Let's save our game. And go downstairs. What's up, mother? How are you today? Right, all boys leave home someday. I said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Hmm, not sure if TV is the most reliable place to get your parenting information. What does it say on my notes? Oh, it was tied to the saving. Now, if you have an original cartridge with a dead battery, it cannot hold a save. Because they rely on the battery to do that. 
the best preservation option is a ROM dumper and flash cartridges with a swappable battery. What happens if we try to go to, into the grass without Pokemon? Oh, it's Professor Oak. Oh, I didn't even press anything. It's unsafe. Why do Pokemon live in tall grass? You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. He saved our lives. We could have had our eyes gouged out by some wild Pokemon. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Jason. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only... I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue. You can have one, too. He says he was a serious Pokemon trainer when he was younger, but a lot of people know that type of trivia. He does have a team program into the game, a pretty tough team, but it was never used. Now, which order? I believe it's from right to left. Every generation, you are able to choose one of three grass, fire, and water starter Pokemon. Number 001 is going to be Bulbasaur, the grass and poison type. There are four stat categories in Generation 1. The first one, HP, how much damage you can take. If it reaches zero, you must switch to another Pokemon. Or if you have none left, you lose the battle and return to the last Pokemon Center that you visited. Attack is going to be your attack strength that targets the defense stat. Special in Generation 1 is how you deal and take special attacks. The last category, Speed, determines who goes first and your chance to crit. Each move type is either physical or special. For example, all grass attacks use the special stat to deal damage and all poison attacks use the attack to deal damage and target defense. Bulbasaur, since it is part poison, it is immune to the poison status and in Gen 1, its type combo resists poison. Later on, it gets the move Sleep Powder which is very handy, but has the toughest matchup against your rival. Number 7, Squirtle is the water starter with high defense. All water moves are special and is an amazing defensive type. There are a handful of better water types, but it's still a good pick nonetheless. Number 004 is going to be the most popular one, Charmander, the fire type. Fire is one of the subpar defensive typing, but they're usually fast damage dealers, and Charmander has a diverse move pool. Huge PSA if you want to use one, Charizard, it cannot learn fly in red and blue. It is in yellow that you can learn it. Another huge PSA, if you choose it, you will get frustrated in the first teachings because in both of those, Charmander has a type disadvantage. But many players choose it anyways because Charizard is so popular. It is the Pokemon franchise's second unofficial mascot after Pikachu. I will show the type effectivenesses in a chart for every new type we encounter. The last thing you should know about the bios, the catch rate is a hidden stat. It is how easily you can catch each Pokemon. The highest is 255 and the lowest is 3. The starters are gifted Pokemon so it is not relevant right now. Okay, I hope I gave myself enough time to explain the Pokemon, but even though it's red and the canon protagonist chooses a Charmander, my favorite is going to be Bulbasaur. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon, so you want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur, yes! This Pokemon is really energetic. And we received a Bulbasaur, do you want to give a nickname? Yes, I do. Your nickname I already shows out all the nicknames of my Pokemon. My starter is gonna be named Lotus. No, it's with a U. Kind of a generic name for a grass type, but I think Lotus fits Bulbasaur well. I'll take this one then. And Blue received the Charmander, who always received the Pokemon Super Effective 
towards... Yeah, the one you choose. That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. It would have been cool if it's if there was a secret fight when, when he uses that, but oh well. Wait, Jason, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And Blue wants to fight. And he sends out Charmander. Yeah, first fight of the game. Oh, he failed the <laughs> growl. That's one of the mechanics. Even though a move is listed as having 100% accurate, as it still has a chance to miss. Tackle, that has 95% accuracy, unlike Scratch, which is fully accurate. And if our HP returns to zero, We either have to switch Pokemon, or if we don't have any Pokemon, like Lotus is our only one, then we lose a fight. And we have to scurry to a Pokemon Center. And all you're doing is spamming Growl, come on. Critical hit. Enemy charm matters down, we get 69 EXP points and grew to level 6. We defeated Blue. Take that. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, 175 for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Jason, Gramps, smell you later. Out of all the Pokemon rivals, Blue has like the most epic attitude and theme. What do you have to say now? Jason, raise your young Pokemon by making a fight. Okay, but is our Pokemon healed? Oh yeah, they are. Let's check it out. We can see their stats. Yeah, Bulbasaur is pretty balanced. Grass and Poison type. Oh no, ID number. 57106. Oh, if we press B or A, we can also check out its moves. Can we read the sign? Oaks Pokemon Research Lab. Palette Town. Shades of your journey await. Now that we have our Pokemon, we can safely go in the tall grass without dying. And I can introduce you to the... Oh wait, no, we don't have Pokeballs yet, do we? No. Well, I guess it would be a waste of time to talk about the Pokemon. You, get out of the way! See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Palatown quicker that way. Yeah, but you can't go up to ledges. Oh my god, this guy's a jerk already. Our first jerk NPC does not want us to progress. Trainer tips. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points. PP. To replenish PP, rest your entire Pokemon in the Pokemon Center. Yep, but... I mean, we can fight the Pokemon Center free healing for your Pokemon. I believe it's a Pokemon. Yeah, we need to go in here. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Yeah, we need this to advance the story. We got Oak's parts up. Say hi to Professor Oak for me. But what if I forget? He's gonna think you're a jerk because I forgot to tell tell him that you said hi. Oh well. Hopefully the main protagonist doesn't have short term memory loss.
Hello, Professor Oak. It's me again. Where, turns out, I don't want to be a Pokemon Master. I want to be an errand boy. I'm just kidding. How old is my Pokemon? Well, seems to like you a lot. Must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? We delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is a custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps. What did you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Jason and Blue, take these with you. Thank you, and we received the Pokedex to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't do it. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. Do we have a choice? This is great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Jason, I hate to say it, but I don't need to. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Jason. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> he's funny. You know what, why don't we pay his sister a visit? I'm sure he's next door. Right here. Blue's house. Are you the sister? Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Thank you. I guess he didn't tell you fast enough not to give us one. You set the town map to find out where you are. If we go in our items, I think we only have 20 inventory slots. We can use the town map anywhere and see... Yeah. Where everything is. Oh, that's weird. I, um... I can't press right on the D-pad, but... I can press up. Oh man. I don't like this UI. It's very confusing. Um... Okay. My brain's hurting, so I'm gonna put the map away. Oh, and I never, I never read our house sign. Jason's house. I'm raising Pokemon too. They say when they get strong, they can protect me. On the first backtrack we have to do in the game, there's water here, but we don't have the hidden machine surf. You, what are you? Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. I forgot how much data you can store in the PC. I know um, you have to scroll to a new PC box in order to... I know you have to scroll to a new PC box in case one gets full or you are unable to catch new Pokemon. I learned that the hard way for some reason. I thought there were only 30 Pokemon slots in the PC. But no, you can fit all 151. Let's go in the Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in every town at. They don't charge any money either. Wow, universal healthcare. For our pets. I wish we had that in the real world. We can't even get it for humans. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Um... I haven't used our Pokemon in any fights besides the first one, but we'll heal them anyways. We hope to see you again. I think I'm gonna end off the episode here. We started our Pokemon journey, got the Pokedex, established a rival, and even ran a little errand. So, I will see you next time in the next episode of Pokemon Red.